Hey, we're Dan and Mads, and we're traveling around Australia in our self-converted Renault Master Van Brio. In this video, we head further into the Red Center. We spend three days exploring the gorges and waterholes of Churicha, the West McDonald Ranges National Park. We then continue up the Stewart Highway to Kalu Kalu, Devil's Marbles. We would like to acknowledge and pay our respects to the traditional owners of the land on which this video was mostly filmed, the Aramda, Aliawara, Baramungu, Kaitetie and Walpuri people. We are on our way out of Alice Springs now, headed towards the West McDonald Ranges. Yeah, we're looking forward to some warmth and some good swimming holes. And we're headed towards Red Bank Gorge, we'll probably stay there for tonight and then explore some of the other water holes tomorrow. It's a beautiful day. Um, we stayed the night in Alice Springs at Gap View Hotel. Yeah, it was Not actually perfect. in that hotel. No, no, yeah, the unpowered campground, $20 for one night, which was fine. And we managed to um, sort ourselves out, go to Woolies this morning and stock up because we're going a bit off grid today. at Red Bank Gorge. We're staying at the campground. It's got the most insane views and we're walking down the hill to the gorge itself. I think in total we'll be two kilometers there and two kilometers back. Probably the most off-road we've taken Rio. But it's only about four kilometers. You definitely don't need a four-wheel drive for it. It's just that the road conditions are a bit worn and if there's been rain of any sort then there's a couple river crossings which if they get water in them then yeah, you won't be able to cross it all. But for us, it was dry and yeah, Rio handled it like a champ. <laughs> so we just got back from the gorge. It's a bit disappointing that we couldn't swim, but it was a hundred percent worth a walk. I think throughout the winter months, we saw a sign when we came back that um, the fish die, which is why it looks a bit gross. And there's loads of fish because there's low oxygen in the water. So in the winter months, it's probably not even worth like thinking that you're going to swim. But the walk itself is a hundred percent worth it, even if you can't swim because it's just beautiful the red rock is so cool and we're really glad that we've got this campsite and it is just magnificent views and it's four dollars per person in a donation box um so you don't have to book in advance it's just yeah lucky first come first serve but we've got a fire pit and just breathtaking views we're gonna chill here all day
good morning we are still at red bank gorge we stayed here last night it was so nice we had a campfire the stars were like some of the best we've seen in australia there's like no light out here at all and it was a moonless night and no clouds in the sky and honestly we could see like the most incredible amount of stars and now we are headed to some more water holes today we've asked some people who have been to all of them um and almost in gorge is a bit like red bank gorge it's a bit gross and all the fish are dead so we can't swim in there sadly because we we're really looking forward to that one but we'll still go check it out and there's um there is water at Glen Helen Gorge where we're headed first and Ellery Creek Big Hole which we're going to go to last. Glen Helen Gorge. It was a bit of a trek actually and we had to do a bit of a river crossing and stuff. I'm not sure if we went the right way but we're finally here. Anyone's here but we're struggling to get into the water because it's so cold. It's very refreshing when you get out. My body's on fire. <laughs> That's probably why. Oh. Worth a dip for sure. and it is so much nicer than we thought it would be like we were told that it was worse than red bank and i don't know I, I still wouldn't swim but it's so beautiful and the water's not too bad like you can maybe if you were really keen to have a swim and not feel that gross about it um but the gorge is so pretty it feels like we're on a beach in the middle of the outback <laughs> which is crazy we're now on our way to Ellery Creek Big Hole um we went to almost a gorge which was really nice but not really swimmable at the moment um and probably won't be until the wet season starts up again now um, it's really nice there it's way more like built up than Red Bank um when I say built up like there's a kiosk where you can get coffee and a laid paved path all the way down to the gorge um and it's only about like a three minute walk so Glen Helen and um, Red Bank were definitely a bit more of a hike whereas this was easy we did it for effort um, we definitely would have liked to kind of stay there and like chill there for ages but without being able to swim we kind of wanted to just push on to Ellery Creek this is like an awesome national park it's so easy to get around as well like this one main road but only one with corrugation was Red Bank Gorge and that wasn't too bad um, and then there's this one road which just we've driven to the end and we're working our way back to Alice whereas you can obviously do it the other way um, because we're not able to swim we'll probably end up spending two nights here and that's enough but if you could swim at all of them you could easily spend like a five days here or something I'd say maybe four yeah it's really cool
just swam at Ellery Creek Big Hole. That was so nice. It's freezing, but like, yeah, that was definitely the cleanest water. No, like, I think there was one dead fish, <laughs> which is a good sign. Um, yeah, that was so nice. We just dried off and went in a few times. Finished all the water holes now, so we're gonna go find somewhere to camp tonight. Um, it's been a really good day. Feeling very refreshed and clean. <laughs> Uh, for tonight, we've stopped at the Point Howard uh, free camp. It's just like a car park. It's a rest stop. Rest stop. It's so nice. And um, we've got the primo spot, so we're just busy having a G and T. And yeah, this is the view. What's for subs? Tonight we have sushi. For the van life, Very busy. but we have a craving that so far Central Australia has not been able to fix. So we're making some salmon avo sushi tonight. We've got some salmon and some avo, and we've got wasabi mayo. Love how we can twist our uh, dinner table, like the table that comes up here sideways, and it becomes like an extension of the kitchen. So it's really nice, sinks there, but we keep it covered obviously. And then big bench there, bench here, easy to chop and dice. And then yeah, it's really, really handy. stayed here at the Point Howard uh, rest stop. It's free and it's not too far from Ellery Creek. It's really nice. We got this west facing spot. Obviously the view is epic. Um, this morning when we got up the sunrise was a 10 out of 10 and we even saw a dingo came just pretty close to our camp and walked around and kind of sussed us out. But yeah, this mountain range is so epic. Um, it's said that about 340 million years ago, two tectonic plates collided, causing this massive mountain range, which obviously is quite um, stunning. Uh, the local First Nations people, their creation story is that it's the spirit of a giant caterpillar, which if you look, it actually makes a lot of sense. We are now headed towards Devil's Marbles, north of Alice Springs. We left for West Max this morning, and I think we're hoping to reach Queensland in the next two days. We're planning now to go to Metropolitan North Queensland, which will be really exciting. Um, yeah, hopefully it will go as to plan.
We've just parked in and we'll push on to a rest area further down. Yeah. It's very, very busy. The car and is rammed. It's, it's quite a fascinating sight to see. There's obviously all of these um, marbles, Mass I guess you could say, boulders. rock formations yeah, around. Out of nowhere. So it's um, definitely a fascinating place and it's cool to check out. Yeah, it's really cool. Now, Stuart Highway Experience is coming to an end. We are now at the turn off to start heading towards Queensland on Route 66. Yeah, Route 66 on the Barclay Highway. Yeah. There we go. Uh -huh. We're not heading north anymore. Sun's we're, behind us. We're heading east. Woo! This is not bad. Mm. We've pulled in at a, a, a Telstra Tower, apparently, for the night. There's free camp in here, so we're about to uh, pop some champagne to celebrate Maddie's uni results. All high distinctions, so we've got to crack out the bubbles in this very scenic spot. <laughs> Congrats, Matt. Thank you. Just did a master's and just finished, so got my results. It's, it's thanks to Kaz and Andy, my parents, for <laughs> sending money for some bubbles. <laughs> Oh, it's 